some runny custard. Uh, just a sec. Something's not right here. A whole barrel full of little cakes, and yet nobody's eating them. Sorry, but I'd rather not play lab rat for the love of cupcakes. Lab rat? Is that what they call scientists where you come from? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's not important. I'm supposed to order blue juice and bake the goods. Oh, it's that time again. How nice. I will bake lots and lots of cupcakes. And what about this blue juice? I'm sorry, Sugar Plum, but you'll have to go ask the dwarves about that. They haven't delivered any in days. They live at the other end of the cold water brook in the dark wood. I'm always asking other... Oh, that's terrible. You poor... Yeah, ask one. Hmm. Uh... He usually drinks coffee here about this day, but he hasn't come in yet. And I thought we were talking about me. See you later. Take care. Hello. Good day, my friend. Wait a second. I know that voice. Ludwig Borrower is the name. Talk Radio 103.6 out of 5. Mole in the morning, mole at noon, and mole in the evening. Right. I heard you on the radio once. Yes. Unfortunately, the swamp park is still flooded, so I can't. I'd love to be I've been broadcasting from the swamp ever since the crows pulled apart my own transmitter. Is there any hope that you'll be transmitting again soon? With all the moisture that creeps into my transmitter in the swamp? Never! Someone might complain about my watered-down contributions. What? But your fans... They'll say my jokes are all wet. How will you explain to your fans that you're quitting? With Dan by. <laughs> because everything's flooded, right? No. No, you can't just give up like that. I'm not giving up. Crack a nut, squirrel, as the young people say these days. No, to get me to stop broadcasting, they'll have to tie my arms, legs, mouth, and belly button. So you're a radio DJ? Yes, unfortunately, the swamp is still flooded, so no, you can't. I'd love to broadcast. I've been broadcasting for small in the morning, mole at night, and mole in the evening. I've always wanted to be on the radio, too. That's the right attitude. If you want to host with me, you'll have to be sharp. Sharp? Yes. Just try to set them up so I can knock them down. <laughs> with rapier like wit. Yes? I, uh, what should I say? No, oh, something funny. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, why did the chicken cross the road? Hmm, that's not good. That'll go down very badly here in Mousewood. Okay. Try to come up with something more appropriate for our audience. I'll try again. I have to be going. See you soon. And remember, Swamp Radio 103.6 5. Mole in the morning, mole at noon, and mole in the evening. Empty. We know you're out there somewhere. Come back soon. I'll take care of your garden until then. I'll take care of the Just a sec! Ooh, nightcap. Sleeping box. It says a box will cost one leaf box. Hmm. I don't have any leaf box. Not even one. Pharmacy belongs to him. I see. So, is he out getting more herbs? Well, he's on an adventure and will be gone for a very long time. Hmm. Ah, I almost forgot something. Apple cheeks. <laughs> One of Uli's painted sugar free lollipops for you. 
sugar free? I also baked Uli's herbs into some buns. But it turned out that the people wanted to I can't imagine why. Yeah. I knew you'd appreciate Uli's herbs. Hey, they're a bit dry, but. Dry? Oh, just have fun licking the lollipop and nibbling the cake, my little cinnamon bun. That's the owner of the herbal pharmacy. Anya says he's out somewhere. Cool mushroom! Hmm, the way it smells in here. Pots must contain dried herbs and spices. The door is now open. Closed. Danger of abduction by crows. That doesn't sound good. Remember, there are no problems, only challenges. There's a note hanging there. One of our guests left the cheese wheel behind. Since it's been here for three years, all guests may now help themselves freely. Kindest regards, and free super. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, the cheese is rock hard. Try our pound cake. One hot coffee. That won't work. Gardens, check. The way to the town square leads across the tree route, and if I follow the path in the other direction, I'll come to the edge of town. Hmm. Nice garden. Just look with your eyes. No touch. It. That big flower is really interesting. Hey. What are you doing sniffing around? 
I'm just admiring the big, pretty flower. Flower. Rubbish. Hey, you. Everything okay? What a sturdy looking rape. It probably belongs to the hair family. It could come in useful. Hey! Hey you! What are you doing with our family rape? Oh, uh, uh, I'm just borrowing it for a moment. Last night, the wind blew all these leaves onto our lawn. Oh, yeah, all right. Oh, off you go. Those leaves aren't going to rake themselves. What a strange statue. The upper half is missing, and now it no longer has eyes. Memo, we need more blue juice. Well, the barrel looks empty, but the tap can still be used. There's not even one bee inside. But judging by the sweet smell, the bee's only just left. By comparison, a giant pumpkin is almost unspectacular. Hedgehog Brothers Carpentry. What can we do for you today? Nobody here. I thought crows were a problem here. Why would they build a statue to them? No advertisements, please. How mysterious. Maybe you can use it to call someone. You'd have to be about half my size to fit through there. There's a little stone face in the crystal. And some kind of amber thing. Hmm. I think fine sound. Very, very softly. Like someone picked the glass. What the weird stat the hmm. I think very flexible. What the I think very, very flexible. Hello, I'm Jerry. 
Junior. Yeah, no reply. Hello, Junior. He's shy. Step right up and admire the goods, but make sure that your eyes stay in your head. Although that wouldn't be a problem because we have outstanding glass eyes among all the things you can buy here at ridiculously low prices. Ridiculously low. At Church Mouse and Sun. Glass eyes? And much more. The travelling merchants, Church Mouse and Sun, have everything you've ever wanted, will want, and will need. Even though you don't know you want it, will want it, or will need to have one. You talk like an actor. <laughs> Funny you should say that, <laughs> but let's get down to business. What do you need, boy? Church Mouse and Son have everything. I'm afraid I don't have enough money. Well, then take this one time only, a small but exquisite promotional gift. A red thread for you. Here. Uh, let me tie the thread to your uh, amusing round coin. Which, by the way, will not be accepted as payment. Very decorative. Thanks. The high quality red thread I gave you uh, should lead you back to Church Mouse and Sun or whenever you need exquisite things. Things of every kind. Pretty things. Tall things, small things, white things, bright things, filled things, spilled things, things with sugar, things with mud. Yeah. Silly things. Okay. If you're looking for things, come to Church Mouth and Sun. But don't take too long. Soon I'll be handing my business over to my talented son so that I can retire to the Coconut Palm Islands. We're still saving up enough money for the trip. Isn't that right, Junior? Junior? Thank you. I'll be sure to come in if I need... Things! Need things. Will we have stuff, too? All right, things and stuff. And junk! Things, stuff and junk. Now you've got it. A sad human face behind Ivy. I wonder who painted that. A sticker. Oh. I was assigned to cannon duty. We had a big crow problem here. Well, have. We even had to evacuate the town. That sounds horrible. Well, it was. So if I see one of those horrid creatures, then kaboom! Usually they fly out of the northwest. I have to keep my eyes open all the time, even at night. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. Please, everyone calls me Spitzfeld. No need to be formal with me. By the way, in case you're wondering, I'm the sister. Oh, I, I didn't know that. The way you're fat, it looks like you're ready for some adventure. I'm an adventurer and a scientist. And on my latest expedition, 
I will travel the seven seas to document the differences in their flora and fauna. Just look at all the maps in my backpack. The beauty of nature is manifested in its subtlest, most delightful way in these lovely backpacks. Yes, I'm on an enormous adventure, and it begins here at home in our humble cold water brook. Oh, that sounds exciting. But why are you on your way? That much ocean must take an awfully long time to explore. Tell me about it. I wanted to complete the first leg with a traditional mousewood leaf boat. I ordered it from the Hedgehog Brothers. They are the most talented and reliable carts people here in the region. All they had to do was float the boat down the cold water brook to me. But I've been waiting here for a while now. So you wouldn't happen to be heading to the pumpkin patch on the edge of town, would you? If you could ask about my boat at the Hedgehog Brothers workshop, you would be doing me a big favor. No problem, I'll take care of it. Fish in the water is a ruthless predator, and penguin gets a rather unpleasant on a bad day. So the barrier is to keep them out of our town. Therefore, I can only open it when the catfish isn't here. There's a big fish flapping its fins at the bottom of the brook. I think it's waiting for someone to open the barrier. Locked. And another. 